Leading off the third and final day was the discus throw, where South Dakota's Cody Snyder narrowly missed a season best in the event with a throw of 184 feet 1 inch. In the men's pole vault, Peter Chapman led an excited group of Coyote fans by clearing a height of 16 feet 8 inches, outdistancing North Dakota State's Jesse Morrow by 4 inches in the competition. In the women's triple jump, Omaha's Sammy Spenner led the field, while Kansas City's Stephanie Johnson, pictured here, took second with a leap of 40 feet 3 and a quarter inches. In the men's triple jump, Kansas City's D.C. Oconta won the event by over a foot, clearing a distance of 48 feet 6 and a quarter. Rounding out the field events was South Dakota State's Brooke Garner, who came into the weekend ranked 41st in the country in the discus and won by nearly 10 feet with a throw of 168 feet 8 inches. The running events opened with the women's 4x100 meter relay, shown here anchored by Antoinette Goodman, and set a new Summit League record with a time of 45.46 seconds. On the men's 4x100 meter relay, the squad from South Dakota, anchored by Brandon Kovash, took first place in a time of 40.92 seconds, less than a third of a second off of the Summit League Championships record. The women's 1500 meter followed as the top four finishers were within three seconds of each other, with Omaha's Katarina Zarandaya taking top honors in a time of 4 minutes 38.90 seconds. The men's 1500 saw the first of two first place finishes on the day for North Dakota State's Travis Fitzke, who closed the door in the race with a time of 3 minutes 53.22 seconds. In the 100-meter hurdles, North Dakota State's Deborah John took first place, tying the Summit League championship record with a time of 13.75 seconds. In the men's 110-meter hurdles, it was North Dakota State's Matt Tetzlaff who edged out West Illinois' Glenn Powell for first place in a time of 14.19 seconds. The 400-meter dash saw Ashley Tinglestad lead a trio of North Dakota State runners in a time of 54.76 seconds as all three Bison runners finished the race in less than 56 seconds. In the men's quarter mile, South Dakota State's Luke Leishner took the conference crown in a time of 47.80 seconds, nearly one second ahead of the next closest finisher. In the women's 100 meter dash, North Dakota State's Antoinette Goodman narrowly missed a summer league record with a time of 11.68 seconds. On the men's side, South Dakota's Michael Burris dominated with a time of 10.62 seconds, nearly two-tenths of a second faster than the second competitor, while places two through six were separated by just six one-hundredths of a second. North Dakota State's Paige Stradiotti ran away from the field with a time of 2 minutes 14.37 seconds in the 800-meter run, over a second ahead of the next pack of competitors. In the men's 800-meter run, North Dakota State's Travis Fitzke picked up his second first-place finish of the day, outkicking teammate Alec Espeland as the Bison took the top four places in the event. Two competitors broke the previous conference mark in the 400-meter hurdles as the race was won by South Dakota's Alexa Dooling in a time of 58.59 seconds. In the men's race, it was North Dakota State's Jerome Begin taking first in a time of 52.43 seconds. Antoinette Goodman picked up her second individual first place finish in the 200 meter run in a new Summit League championship record time of 23.85 seconds, just ahead of Omaha's Sammy Spenner's 24.12 seconds. South Dakota's Christian Nielsen came from behind to edge out Oakland's Jeff Ariragusa in a time of 21.49 seconds, winning by two one-hundredths of a second. In the final distance event of the weekend, Kansas City's Courtney Frerich picked up her second Summit League record, this one in the 5,000-meter run, closing the 3.1 miles in a time of 16 minutes, 42.63 seconds, breaking the previous Summit record by over five seconds. The men's 5,000, it was 10,000-meter champion Trent Luzignan taking the field by over six seconds, cruising to a time of 14 minutes, 29.42 seconds. In the meet's final event, the women's 4x400 meter relay saw North Dakota State miss a Summit League record by less than a quarter second, winning in a time of 3 minutes 42.46 seconds. In the men's race, South Dakota State pulled away behind the anchor leg of open quarter champion Luke Leishner, finishing with a team time of 3 minutes 14.63 seconds. 
After the competition, the Summer League gave out individual awards, including Newcomer of the Championship, Coach of the Year, Field Athlete of the Year, and Track Athlete of the Year. This year's Men's Newcomer of the Championship was Christian Nielsen of South Dakota. The Men's Coach of the Year was Don Larson of North Dakota State. The Field Athlete of the Year was D.C. Oconta of Kansas City. And the Men's Track Athlete of the Year was Travis Fitzke of North Dakota State. The Women's Newcomer of the Championship was Megan Dennis of South Dakota, while Ryan Godfrey of North Dakota State was Women's Coach of the Year. Women's Field Athlete of the Year was Sammy Spenner from Omaha, and the Women's Track Athlete of the Year was Antoinette Goodman of North Dakota State. It was awesome. You know, I just got out hard in the blocks, and I wasn't really thinking about time because that's when you go wrong. So I was just thinking about getting out hard and carrying it to the finish. Let's talk about the 100 a little bit. The 100 was pretty good. I was just worried about getting onto my blocks fast enough and just holding off at the end. And then with you and your teammates uh, in, in the 4x1. The 4x1 was awesome. We haven't really had a chance to like all get together and run it consecutively at each meet. So to come together and again get another meet record was awesome. So just the overall performance of the team this weekend and just your overall thoughts. We're, it was completely a team effort. We all ran for each other and it was great. The seniors did awesome. All right, we started the first day with hurdles. I had a win legal PR in hurdles uh, at a season best in high jump. I had a good throw for a shot, but not a PR, but it was a good throw. 200, I kind of let up a little bit because I knew I had a big day the uh, next day. Uh, came back the next day, long jump was a good long jump. Uh, jab was an all right jab, I was all right with it. And 800, I kind of coasted to the finish because right after that I had high jump where I almost had a season PR or PR in general, and then uh, long jump later that day where I did have a win legal PR and a school record. Well, Antoinette Goodman was the track athlete, so that was a big highlight, obviously, but we had a lot of athletes that really stepped up, and you know, on, on the track itself, there was only a few events that we didn't win. Um, and that proved to be big for the, for the championship, but also our depth. And we had people scoring from freshmen all the way to the seniors, but it was the seniors who had been here before and, and, and knew the routine and, and, and uh, really paved the way for everybody else. They were the ones that were the, the biggest cheerleaders and the ones that were performing the best on the track and in the field. Um, long jump, uh, tough competition, but I uh, ended up getting it in on my third jump, PR. Uh, triple jump. I didn't jump my PR, but I ended up, <laughs> I ended up uh, winning the event. Uh, got points for my team, and that's all that really mattered. Yeah, yesterday I had the program in the 800, and uh, just did what I needed to do to advance to the final. Had a big day today. Started with the 1500, and. Uh, I just kind of took that out, the controlled the pace, also and like to thank didn't run too hard, but IBFW ran enough to win, and then came back in the 800, and Director of Athletics, Tommy uh, Bell, luckily my teammates pulled me Tommy. along through the whole race, and, and I was just able to have a good kick at the end to finish strong, and we, uh, we went like one, two, three, four, four in that, so that was awesome. And, and then I finished up with my first 5K ever outdoor, and just tried to hang on as long as I could, and ended up second, so all in a team championship weekend, it was a good weekend. Another great uh, Summit League conference Leslie meet. Bruce. Um, every team brings a host of talented Katie athletes Doctor. to the Summit League championship. Jamie and uh, obviously thrilled the type of performance that we get um, in this year's championship. You know, Ashley coming in, uh, Andy Lilliard, the favorite to win the Multi. And comes in, uh, you know, nicked up and not able Katie to perform, and, which means a bunch of other kids have got to step Alyssa up. Um, and obviously, uh, Casey Oregon Emily winning his Lesser. third title in the uh, Hammer. Uh, Matt Mack. Tetzloff winning his third title in the Maddie 110 McClellan. hurdles. Uh, Fitzke uh, winning the eighth, the 15, and coming Brady back getting Page. second in the 5K. But just across the board, I think the biggie is of uh, the 32 athletes Amber brought, Rickenau. 30 of them end up placing and and uh, having Rose a great meet. But hats off to the host institution, um, IPFW, um, hosting Stengel. here, uh, you know, out of town in Muncie, Indiana, and to all the the Summit League schools. Again, I think Aaron everybody Tesha. competed extremely well. Um, Ashley Tingle, you know, across the board. I mean, South Coast State, South Coast State, Oakland, UMKC, Western, uh, IUPI. It was excellent uh, conference Ryan championship Godfrey. event.